Hey, Betty, welcome back to my channel. I am the Dark Side of the City Rambles, and I'm finally back on this webcam. And so today we're doing The Flash. I'm doing season four, episode 12, called Honey, I Shrunk Team Flash. <laughs> Which I love that nod to the movie because I love that movie so much. Alright, so we start off with uh, Joe and Cecile are bickering, and then Cecile can literally read his mind. <laughs> And so, um, they go to Star Labs to help figure it out, and the baby is fine. It's a normal, healthy, non-metahuman baby, but apparently some of the after effects of when she still got blasted with the dark matter is somehow activated in this trimester. So, uh, she, and Cecile Louie reads Caitlin's mind and finds out it's a girl. And they, uh, and then they talk some more and they say the symptoms might be temporary. Well, they're saying it's temporary, but I think it might be. That's just my personal opinion. And then um, we cut to where Wells is pissed that no one is, cares about Barry and they're not focused on him enough as he is because he is just grinding away trying to find a cure for it. Um, well, not a cure for it, a way to get him out of jail. And then we got to Barry is cleaning up with cards in prison. And <laughs> this little one is cheating his ass off. Literally using his speed to look at everyone's cards and shuffle it around so he had the winning hand every freaking time. Because he wants pudding cups. <laughs> it's like, really? And but uh, with the last round. Um, the inmates go, they bicker among themselves, and so the politician called out Big Sur for shooting on our man, and so he gets and leaves, and then Barry follows him, and um, he's basically he said he didn't do it, and he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. And then we cut to Court Industries um, unveiling their new building that Sonic proves and flash proof and all this other stuff and she's like building it up to me this huge thing I met a human shrunk and took it and she goes I hate this city <laughs> which I thought was hysterical on so many levels I love that and then uh, Team Flash is there and then Cecile is reading everybody's minds and is loving it she is just like that lady stole Sapor and blah and I was like this is funny to me. I love this episode for um, period. And so um, they got evidence through a security camera with a license plate. So they're trying to match that up. So they go back to um, Fur Labs. Then we cut to where um, Barry calls Joe and asks him to look into Big Sur's case and try to help him out. And so uh, Team Flash is looking toward thanks to. Um, well, saying, like, Barry has not called us for anything, so let's focus on this as a priority, as well as the meta. So, um, Joe, Ralph, and Cisco go to question uh, the guy named Seal, who the uh, uh, Joe matched the license plate. And then we cut to where Barry talks to Big Sur, and then turns out Silver um, was the culprit, uh, blasts them, jumps out the window, tries to escape and shrinks Joe's car and Ralph and Cisco. So they're shrunk down and then he does in fact escape. <laughs> and so they go back to Star Labs and Ralph can't stretch and Cisco can't vibe far anymore. And then Cecile and Joe are in couples counseling things to Iris saying like I know a person. And so uh, it's funniest thing ever because she is literally reading the therapist lady's mind as well and <laughs> kind of calling her out then calling Joe out and she's just calling everybody out. It's like really funny. I really liked it. And then Barry talks to Big Sur again and he's just being, um, and Big Sur's just being the Debbie Downer and Barry's just, you know, Mr. Optimistic and everything and just um, basically just gives him hope. And he's like, I don't want it. Shut up, bye. Sorry about the interruption. And so, um, then we cut to Star Labs where Will's made a big gun to help people, um, 
blow the blow it up instead of a opposite of a shrink ray. And then it doesn't work and it causes a cellular explosion into um, Cisco and Ralph, and they only have ten hours until they explode everywhere. And then Barry again talks to Big Sur and they talk about how like what are you gonna do if you get out of here? And he's like, I'm gonna go to this village in China. It's very remote, but it seems very beautiful. And then um, we cut to where the warden talks to Barry and he warns him uh, to be careful of helping other people and just doing stuff in general. And then we cut to where Iris starts to Cecile and uh, about like Joe and basically Iris says like you need to see how he feels. You can read his mind, but you're not seeing how he feels about everything. You need to ask him that. And then we cut to where Harry is trying to find a cure, and he feels really stupid, and so Cisco is trying to help him, and he eventually does help him have an idea. And, be, and that um, idea is to basically get in Seal's crosshairs again and get into the blast, and that should help them go back to normal size. And then Seal is at some type of um, weather place and wants a blunt. And then, um, now, now we'll go back to Team Flash where um, Ralph and Cisco only have 18 minutes left. And then I'm still shrinks the brunt, the blimp. And so uh, Team Flash gets there. And then they try to get him shrunk, but um, he's leaving throwing helicopters and cars and a bazooka after everyone. Then um, Harry then um, steps in and helps out. And then Cisco managed to um, vibe onto his jacket and gets into the crosshairs of the blast and gets, so Ralph and Cisco are big now. And so, and then the cops show up and Harrison um, cuts the, um, shoots the meta shackle around the neck. <laughs> and so now his powers are Lloyd and um, he and so they asked to they tell him to confess to the crime of Mercury Labs. He laughs and says, "No, get a priest. Bye." Then Barry gets the news, then tells Big Sir, and he actually kind of takes it well. He's saying, "You know, it is what it is. But I like having hope, and hope was great." And so, uh, so it's later in the night, and then Barry literally breaks him out and takes him to the village in China and drops him off and says you do have to believe in happy endings. <laughs> and then we cut to where Cecile talks to Joe <clears throat> and he feels too vulnerable. That's his main issue. He feels super vulnerable and feels like his um she he she will know every single thought. More no matter how irrational or how defeatist he feels or, you know, just vulnerable. And so um Cecile's like, it doesn't matter that you have these feelings, I'm still going to love you and everything. And then she shares her vulnerable feelings. And so they make up and they're all great. And then the warden talks to Barry again and outs him and shows him that he planted a secondary camera that he didn't know about and shows him as the Flash. And then he literally did something to the pudding. So he gets put in metahuman jail and calls Amulet trying to, I guess, sell him. So that's the end of the episode. So that was a really good episode. I actually really enjoyed this one. I'll go say plus. They have a really good balance of funny and drama and sci-fi. I feel like all work together. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I'm very excited to see what's going to happen next. And I feel like Cecile's mom powers, I think that's going to play really um into what into busting the vote i really think that's how that's going to happen so i'm very excited to see what's going to happen next as i already said like five thousand times sorry about that anyway um that's going to do it for this video so if you like this video please go to like comment down below and tell me what you think of the episode do you agree or disagree and then subscribe for more stuff and i'll see y'all in the next video and i gotta edit this now it's not fair bye everybody